Gamble right now for his return. Olivier Saw made that block on the SP5 win. Wake keeps the possession alive for three and on the weak side. Florida State pulls it in with Devin beside 20 points at Louisville. So he's coming off a good game. He was 9 of 11 from the floor against the Cardinals in that win on the road. And a second straight miss. You can string together a couple of them. It's, uh, you know, Florida State starting to separate themselves a little bit from the pack. Hamilton with those 347. Florida State is three for five from the floor, making the floor. Florida State with its 13 and two record. Tough shot. Got. I mean, he's been he's been playing well the last couple games, averaging 14 points. So he's seeing a big. Keep it alive. The cell in the corner. Twisting shot and he makes it. Turn it over after the miss. Swooping in. Too strong. And came into the night. Over 1,100 career points for Brandon Cho. This guy is a tight by the Knowles. They fire away from the court. And uh, he's come off the bench the last 10, so he seems to have warmed to that role. Yeah, double digits tonight for Sar in the first half with 10. Uh, Florida State has to, they have to start defending the left foul. The Knowles are just 5 of 14 from the floor in the last eight. Yeah, yeah. He's out with a lower leg injury, sustained in the closing moments of the game against Pittsburgh. That one blocked the shot pull up that time. They've given him a little bit of room and uh, you know, not wanting to let him get to the basket. Six points. 12 times this season, he's gotten a double digits in scoring. He didn't go far. Devin Vassell, second free throw. So we're talking about Jeff uh, scored for Florida State in his first half. Watch that shot clock down to two. A floater. Did not. Uh, play top 10 team here and then having to travel to Durham this week. Prieto had that last basket. He now has four points. He had one made field goal coming into the night. One and most of it from the free throw line. Weak side rebound. It's been a steady parade. With a free throw strike for Wake Forest in this first half. The cell with a fist by Wilkes. Back the other way. Stolen back by Vassell. Childress in the corner. Shot clock's down to four for Childress. Good defense right up until the last uh, couple of seconds, and you can't give up the baseline in that situation. Scoring. It's going for over 20 points three times this year. Because then, you know, well executed play coming out of the timeout, but the loser ones on the road, you have to finish. Seconds on the shot clock of the offensive rebound this season. And the three point line extended. 22 feet, one and... Well, we have a moment, a word from the... You know what, Mike, you could have played around here today. Temps up in the 60s. Vassell <laughs> uh, and Walker. In you. you might have one right here. Tied at 45, Mike Jaminski. Three point attempt. Watch out. Watch out. And now the lead is 54-49. Childress is open for three in the corner. Collected by the Demusius. Childress trying to work that crossover. Brandon Childress. Game 34% from beyond the arc. Eighth in the conference. The runner from White. The rebound to Sell. On the run. My neck is a little sore, Tom. Do you think you can go up to the floor? That's the only quickly. Danny might buy him a few more seconds. 
get to that timeout. And to that seventh, eighth, and ninth. So the Irish had won at the Dome. That's what Virginia Tech did last night. And you just go up and down the standings, Mark, because Duke at Georgia Tech. Duke is the next opponent on the schedule for Wake Forest, and that'll be played in Durham. We're reading your headlines just yet. Coming off the win against Louisville. One of his team to validate that victory on the possessions coming out of the locker room for the second half, but they've rebounded nicely as the half has progressed. Two of six games on the slate in the ACC. Mike Voigt, 64-54 in the second half as we cross the four-minute threshold. 34% shooting for the game for Wake Forest. 4 of 14 on long three-point attempts. And the points now for Childress. He's tied with Vassell for the game lead. Wake led by as many as four early in the second half. Florida State led by as many as 12, and that was in the first half. And, you know, you understand if you're hot and you're in a big basket, but, uh, you know, in that situation, with Florida State handling this pressure from Wake Forest. It's been a dunk fest. 